everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you my body train essentials. So my son is currently 29 months old and we are already training him when he is starting 28 months. But because we live in an apartment and we have carpets all over our living room and bedroom, we want to be really careful and we want to use our way instead of uh, like the three days or four day crash because uh, it's just too much. I tried it before like for the first day he didn't use any pants and any diapers but it was just too much uh, because he just keep having accident and I don't want my carpet to smell and so my husband and I discussed and we come up with this steps and essentials so hopefully it's gonna be useful for you for the first one is of course you need a small potty seat you can buy the one that use it by itself or you can detach the white ring and then put it on your big toilet seat and at first at the beginning we put the white ring at the big toilet because they said if you train to the small one you need to retrain it for the big one so we train him to the big one right away every time he pee every time he poop he will poop at the big toilet like uh, adults and just in case you don't know because I didn't know that before when you train your son to potty they will pee sitting down instead of standing up so mine is this one is the munchkin one I got this on his first birthday and we have using it since then and you can also use it as a stool uh, we have trained him for a month but somehow right now sometimes uh, Brandon is more comfortable peeing at the small one but we actually prefer him to pee or poop at the big one so we can just flush it but if he poop or pee on the small one he will take the blue thing and then he will dump it to the big toilet and he will flush it and wash it in the sink so, and number two you will need a stool to wash your hand and of course you can use the potty seat as a stool for mine but I just have like a small stool that I got from dollar store you can also have the one from Ikea which is better and then after the potty you will train them to wash their hands if you have like the potty seat and the stool you don't need to like keep moving the potty so I just put the stool near the sink and I put the potty next to the big toy and number three is cute underwear I don't underestimate this one because they love cute underwear so I got mine from H&M uh, I got the cars one, he loves it and I got the size in one and a half to two and then Carter's has it as well, Walmart has it as well so Amazon as well so you have a lot of choices so if your kids love Paw Patrol or Peppa Pig you can try that one as well to encourage them to potty number four is cleaning product you will need wipes paper towels and multi-surface cleaner near to you because accident happens and at the beginning it happens on my carpet but sometimes happen on the bathroom which uh, is okay I can just wipe it down and I ask him to wipe it with me as well so he will feel that uh, if accident happen his underwear or his pull up will be wet and then uh, if it spills then he need to clean it up number five I also got a portable potty seat and I think it's really important because if you only train him at home and of course you cannot your lock yourself at home for so many days and if you don't train him outside he will forget so uh, what I do is I usually go to like a nice places like mall so it's clean not like the special event one because if they're gonna use like a portable box uh, toilet then I don't want that so I got this one from Amazon I asked around I asked my friends I read the review and this one is really good it comes with like a small plastic pouch and also like a black pouch if you have time or if you have two people going to the party you can rinse it there or if not you can just rinse it at home and you can put it inside the bags I use that one when he uh, poop at the mall as well so it really sticks so it doesn't move around I really love that one and I think they have so many colors as well I got mine in blue they have the pink one they have green one so I'm gonna put the link below number six is pull up or slip on diaper a lot of articles that I've read is usually they have like three or four days crash during the long weekend so they will go commando but it doesn't unfortunately it doesn't work for my son on the first way we go commando and he just keep wetting himself but uh, my son uh, can catch a cold pretty quickly even though it's summer I don't know why so he keep having like a runny nose so at the end I just put 
pull up so I bring him to the washroom like every half an hour or one hour so in the beginning I bring him to the washroom like every 20 minutes or 30 minutes and then at the end I, I can just ask him whether you want to pee or not and then I still use the pull up for nap and uh, bedtime and if we go out if you have more time like me because he will start his preschool in July so I have about two months before he goes to school that's why I can do this but maybe if you need to uh, do it quickly you can do like a three days course but unfortunately it doesn't work for us first because ours is carpet second is um, he just got runny nose pretty quickly so even though it's spring or summer number seven is rewards and again don't underestimate the rewards so every time he poop or pee at the toilet we give him like a sticker and then uh, after he got like 10 sticker and then he can get a new toy from dollar store so you don't want to spend too much money because you have to keep pursuing him and he loves that and but at the end when we didn't do the rewards he doesn't really want to pee or poop at the party but when we introduce like the stickers again and we also like have some paper if he pee at the toilet or poo at the toilet he will get a smiley face and if he had an accident and pee or poo at the pull up or uh, on the carpet he will get like a sad face and that one really works as well I don't know why he really obsessed with the paper with the happy and uh, sad face number eight is books so sometimes if he want to poop or pee uh, they just want to do it quickly so they got bored easily so I put like some books at the washroom so he can read the books and I can entertain him number nine is waterproof mat or towels or old sheets so because our living room is carpet I just put like a waterproof mat and old sheets and also towels at our sofa on our carpet so if he go commando and he had an accident it will go there first so it's not gonna be so bad number 10 is patience so it's not gonna be easy and it's just like a phase that we need to pass so just be patient uh, keep encouraging your child and even though you're gonna be successful like the first week sometimes they will have accident on the second week or third week so don't worry I hope you like this video and I hope it will be useful for you because I was like so tired and I was like going insane before but just do whatever works for you you can just a little bit here and there because every family is different so if you're new to my channel make sure you like and subscribe because I post video three times a week now I post video about motherhood tips and hacks and travel vlogs thanks for watching guys bye